All right, hey everybody, so welcome to another After We Collided movie video, uh, movie update. So this update is coming courtesy of Roger Cumble's Instagram page, where, okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys a drawing that he did, and then I'll read to you guys the message that he wrote under the, uh, the drawing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing first. All right, so yeah, this is the drawing, and as you can see, it is Harden, Tessa, and Trevor, with Harden saying, fucking Trevor, Tessa saying Harden, and Trevor just looking like, Ugh. Alright, so yeah. Alright, so under that thing, he writes, uh, let me go ahead and set the camera there, excuse me, Dad. Uh, so yeah, he writes, Dear After Naders, aka Greatest Fans Ever, giving you an update on AWC because there's rumors flying around about a teaser. Don't kill slash castrate the messenger, but sounds like fake news. Ow, who did that? Yes, I know you're frustrated. Trust me, it's not like Anna, Todd, and I sit around and go, hey, let's alienate the fans and not show them anything. We want to show you the teaser. We just don't want to go to prison because that's where they'll send us if we leak anything. I wouldn't last three seconds in prison. I weep if I have to fly coach. Trust me, I want to make you happy. I even tried drawing the famous scene where Hardin walks in on Tessa and Trevor, see picture above. As you can tell, drawing is not my superpower. Meanwhile, Queen Anna insisted we give you guys something and was able to bully the lawyers into releasing the Santa scene. I know for a fact she's trying to get more material released. So on behalf of the team, I apologize. Ow! Stop hitting! Stop fucking hitting me! Now, I have some good news. The movie rocks. When I sat down with Anna back in May, she commanded we make this movie for the fans of her books. I can say with certainty we delivered. At Hero Finds Tiffin and at Josephine Langford are going to blow your dirty minds. They're that amazing. They're also true artists and extremely private people. I, however, am not private and like to gossip and blab, so I'll give you some inside dirt. Currently, Anna, Jennifer Gibgott, and I are listening to hundreds of songs to find the perfect one for the scenes while amazing composer Justin Burnett writes the score. The movie will be finished by February and we'll hopefully find the right distributor who cares about the movie as much as we do. What that date is? Fuck if I know. But Queen Anna will kill for the best release date because she loves her fans. Remember, it was 18 months between the release of Chamber of Secrets and Azkaban, and 20 months between Hunger Games and Catching Fire. What was that? I can take my moving trivia and shove it up my ass? Jeez, you guys are tough. I still think you're the cat's pajamas and wish you a, hap a healthy new year. 2020 is going to be spectacular because After We Collided is coming out. Ciao. I love Mr. Roger Cumble. I love Roger Cumble. Uh, he's still pretty amazing. He's still uh, amazing. But yeah, there's a lot of information in this thing to go through. All right. So the first big thing is, is that nobody is getting this film in February. So like all the rumors flying around about like internationally them getting the film in February while the U.S. release date is still up in the air with Roger Cumble revealing that the film will be finished by February. That pretty much says that nobody is going to be getting it in February. So no. So don't expect overseas. So everybody who is concerned that, oh, overseas is going to get the film first. First, and then it's going to be like a TBD release date on the US and then it'll all like leak out online. Don't worry. It sounds like that nobody will be getting this film in February. Another thing that this film, this thing pretty much confirms is that there is no distributor yet for the US that they are waiting until they actually finish the film and then they will start looking for a uh, distributor. Um, Another thing that, that that's kind of mentioned in this thing that actually I've started to really think about, and this has always been in like the back of my head, is that this lawsuit between the After Team and Avery on Pictures, it is affecting the film because he does mention uh, the lawyers and does say that Anna Todd pretty much had to bully the lawyers into, you know, actually letting them release uh, the Santa scene. Uh, so, yeah, it really does seem like the lawsuit is affecting this movie. Uh, but we, we've been new. I mean, we knew that uh, Avery on were a bunch of uh, Stephs. We knew that they were a bunch of snakes. So, uh, you know, uh, that that's just what happens uh, when you're dealing with uh, the, the lawsuits. Um, 
But yeah, um, but apparently right now they are working on, you know, they are listening to, you know, hundreds of songs to find the perfect one for the scenes, while amazing composer Justin Burnett writes the score. So yeah, it's revealed that Justin Burnett is writing the score. Uh, another big thing that this revealed in this thing is that they are going back to the books, and that's like one of the big complaints that me and a lot of other fans had with the first film is that it was completely unlike the books. So it really does seem that they are going back to the books. Uh, it again confirms the R rating, so you know, yeah. Uh, all right, so yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff in this thing. So yeah, jump down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. As always, remember, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's go through all the stuff you'll be able to find on this channel right now. So every day, I'll be doing daily uploads of the read-throughs, where I literally go through different books and read to you guys page by page, chapter by chapter, all seven books of the After series by Anna Todd are now on the channel to their completion. I'm working on It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, and these will be daily uploads barring any types of personal illnesses or issues. Now that we have the official green light of the After We Collided movie, I'll be bringing you guys constant, constant, constant updates on that, so keep looking forward to that. You guys are going to be so updated that you'll be begging me to stop the updates. And those updates are also going to cover After We Fell and After Ever Happy, so once we get the green light on those two films, I'll also be bringing you guys constant updates on those as well. Every other day, I'll be doing different topics that come up in the After Fandom, so if there's a topic out there that you guys want to see me talk about, go ahead and either leave it down in the comments, or you can find me on either Twitter, email, or my Facebook, all the relevant information is on the About section of the channel. As always, remember, this channel would not be able to go to the heights that it has without you guys, and so for that, I'm eternally grateful. You know and I know there are plenty of After fans, old and new, who have no idea that this channel exists. So keep sharing the channel, keep spreading the word of Charles' movie channel, because this will easily be one of the best After Series channels that you'll find right here on YouTube, or dare I say anywhere. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing, keep sharing. My name is Charles. Welcome to the After Series channel. I'll see you later, after fans, after naters. Take care, y'all. Love you.